Hey, it's Blessed Cosimo. I am an Amazon seller of my Sabi season. So this video is regarding the Q4 which we are right now. I received this uh, question, what is Q1, Q2, Q3, and Q4? But yes, I am just going to explain it to you in an easy way. But like I said, right now we are in our Q4. But let's start what is Q1. So Q1 based on the first quarter of the, of the year. Let's say it's January, February, and March. So that is the first quarter of the year. So yes, for us Amazon seller, we call it Q1. And then the Q2 is... Uh, April, May, June, which is the second quarter of the year. And then Q3 is July, August, and September. And then the Q4 starts in October, November, and December. So we're all, we are already in uh, November. And like I said, this is the best time of the year every time Q4 comes. And if you are doing Amazon business, if you are selling in Amazon, because it's more shopping going on out there than any other uh, quarter. It's holiday season and, and, you know, it's shopping time and people, a lot of people shopping in Amazon, most likely, especially now because of the COVID that hit us and people don't really want to be going to the store, getting exposed with this virus. And also, I am just excited to share with you, but like I said, Q4 is basically the last quarter, the fourth quarter of the year, which is October, November, and December. So that's cover Q4. And also, <coughs> uh, I am excited because this is my second Q4 in doing Amazon. And like I said, last year, even though I have no idea yet what to do and... Uh, I don't have an experience yet of what is Q4 and after that so this year I have an idea now so I am I get more excited because I have the idea that oh it's more shopping out there what to product uh, what product are selling more when it's Q4 but basically actually it's like almost all product is selling good out there I know last year a lot of toys I sold it was only October I started already selling toys and until January I really sold a lot of toys but this year it's kind of different because of the Amazon has compliance for all those toys like for toys that is um, three years old to seven or under seven years old or under three years old Amazon will ask the doc compliance document so that part it doesn't make me excited because I know I cannot sell as much as toy like I did last year but on the other hand um, I found out I mean I know that there are so much product out there millions uh, thousands of product out there that we can sell as amazon seller so it doesn't stop my excitement if i cannot sell the toys although sometimes i'm some toys i am still okay to sell them but i just have to watch what kind of toys i'm selling and i make sure that i look at the age group that okay i know that this age group three years old and below or seven uh, uh, amazon will ask a compliance so i stay away for those toys so now i pick up some of the my toys therefore like kids seven and above and that one i find okay that I don't have problem Amazon asking me compliance document so yes if you are an Amazon seller you're selling toys that's the idea that I would like to throw there give you an idea that yes don't worry if you cannot sell as much as toys like you did last year or in other Q4 or in a previous Q4 but remember there are thousands of um, or millions of products out there that you can sell and you'll be surprised because me for over a year that I've been doing Amazon I mean for almost two years now there are products that I don't even think that I can sell and every time I do go at the store I see these products and I just pass I don't even give a 
a look for that product because I thought mm, I cannot sell that product and then I just got surprised that I said okay let me try this product and then I can sell it and it's even giving me bringing me a good profit so yes yeah, so don't be don't feel bad if you cannot sell toys right now like me but like I said there's so much product out there and you just be surprised so just keep sourcing so right now yes since it started October I mean yes October um, there's so much sourcing going on there for in my case finding trying to find new products before because I know right now this this year Amazon is telling us Amazon seller that our product that is supposed to be for Christmas season we should be already sent in December 3 or at least yeah if you ship it already in December 3 or at least before this December 3 Amazon received this product already so those are the product for um, Christmas already that people will be buying so if you think you have a products there that's selling really good and you think it will sell fast uh, on Christmas time, make sure that you have them now ready. You're already shopping them, you're prepping them and you start selling out, uh, sending them to Amazon. So Amazon will get it early. And like I said, in my case, I have this product that is really selling good. And I'll be surprised that I just sent it the last two days. It's still inbound, not even active yet, and it got sold already. So what I did now, I even put it in a higher price just to keep it or hold it not to sell right away because I want to sell the product on Christmas time, uh, which is better because I know people will be shopping out there and then they, they don't mind even your price is higher, especially if that product they cannot find it at the store anymore. And then they were they don't have or they don't have time to go to the store to do shopping and then they will just come to their computer go online and go to Amazon website and buy it from there so yes yeah, so those are my tips that if you are a new Amazon seller this is your first Q4 yes this is the best time of the year get excited get going that sourcing and I wish you good luck and I'm pretty sure you're gonna have fun and uh, at the end of the year, by the end of the year, you'll be surprised what you accomplish in your Amazon business. All right, so yes, that's all I wanna share with you, the Q4, so yes, that's the idea. Q1 is Q3, Q4, and Q4 is the best time of the year for the Amazon seller like us. All right okay so thank you so much for hanging out in this video and i hope you learned something again and please don't forget to subscribe hit that subscribe button so i can always make a content something like this and you then you get a notification every time i upload a new video so thank you thank you so much and i really really appreciate you for subscribing my channel so signing off for now it's me bless Kikazimo of my sub season and amazon seller Abuhay.